guys, today we're going to run through two at-home mobility tests to determine if you've got enough motion for your golf swing. First test is going to be for the upper back to see how well this area is rotating. So what Reggie here is going to do is kneel next to the wall, close leg goes against the wall, that knee is up, opposite arm is going to go behind her head, and she is going to try to rotate to the left as far as she can to try to get her back to touch the wall. What we're looking for is that this shoulder doesn't leave the wall and that she doesn't rotate through her hip, which would look more like that. So she's going to maintain good posture, upright the whole time, body is staying right over that hip and knee, and you can see she's a little shy of the wall, so she doesn't have quite enough thoracic rotation for that golf swing. The second test we're going to go through is for hip mobility. So in the golf swing, the lead hip is actually the more important per rotation versus the trail hip because it pivots as you swing. So I'm going to have you all test your lead hip today. So if you're a right-handed golfer, that's your left side. If you're a left-handed golfer, it's your right. So what you're going to do is lay two golf clubs on the ground at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to have Reggie come stand in the middle so her toes are pointing at that peak. She's going to have all of her weight on this left foot since she's a right-handed golfer. And this tippy toe is going to be within that footprint but minimal weight on it. What she's going to try to do is twist to the right, which would be like her backswing. And she wants the line of her hips here to get past the line of that golf club. She's right about on it that way. And then she'll twist to the left, which would be like her follow through. And that looks to be a little bit less than the golf club that way. If you didn't pass either of these at-home mobility tests, you should consider signing up for our 12-week golf mobility program.